Rick, hand me the betadine. Pour it in here. He doesn't look good, and he feels clammy. Uh, fill his hands. Are they cold? Yes, very cold. All right, Jason's going into hypovolemic shock. Well, can you do something? Should we take him to jail? No, there's not enough time. OK, I'm done stitching brick. Cut the thread, leaving about a quarter inch left. What are you looking for? Um, albumin or head of starch, any type of volume expander. Jason needs a transfusion. I need you to get as much O negative blood as you can find as soon as possible. Come on. Okay. We're going to get you the blood. Unless you have a stash next door, it won't be soon enough. Jason needs a transfusion right now. Then use me. Give him my blood. Keep clenching your fist to make sure the blood flows into Jason faster. Let me know if you get dizzy. I'm fine. Thank God our blood's compatible. Yeah, and that you knew about it. How many times have you two bled for each other? I think you and I are going to be walking around with a huge hole in us. A hole that we can't expect to be filled. You know, not right away. And maybe it never will be. But you're dressed, and you're standing, and you are ready, and you're going to get through this because there is no other option. We've been through a lot together. Do you think this is going to work? This pulse feels stronger. But you can't give enough blood for a full transfusion. Your guard still needs to come through. He will. Sonny's men are extremely loyal to Jason. They're going to come through for him because Jason would do the same for them. Am I right, Brick? Ten times over. 